Hello my dear learners, it's another beautiful day for learning, so let's have some fun! Today, we will be having your math lessons for analyzing word problems. In this lesson, there will only be one scenario, but there will be six interrelated questions. You have to analyze each question properly. In the first part of the lesson, you will have to answer the questions one by one. Then later on, we will be answering them together. So are you ready? Let's begin. Read and answer each question. Pause the video as you answer. Pause the video now. Moving to the second question. Pause the video as you read and answer. Pause the video now. Now for the third question. Pause the video as you read and answer. Pause the video now. This time work on your fourth question. Pause the video as you read and answer. Pause the video now. Here is for your fifth question. Pause the video as you read and answer. Pause the video now. And finally, the sixth question. Pause the video as you read and answer. Pause the video now. So before we proceed, go through all the questions and finalize your answers. Pause the video as you do. Pause the video now. Are you done? Great! So now let's check if you got the answers correct. So as I have told you in this lesson, there will only be one scenario but there will be six interrelated questions. You have to analyze each question properly which means that in a given word problem, there may be a lot of information that will be stated but you have to focus on what is being asked and from there, find all the details that you will need to solve the question. Let us start working on each problem. So the first situation mentioned that there are four doctors working in a clinic. Each doctor has two nurses assisting them. There are two receptionists, J and Molly, working at the reception. And the question is, how many people are working in the clinic? So after reading the given situation, always remember that the first thing to do is to find the main question and the question here is simple. How many people working in the clinic simply means how many are there in total? So how will you solve this problem then? Let us first highlight the given numbers for the situation and analyze each word. First, you got four doctors working in the clinic. Then the next statement says, each doctor has two nurses assisting them. Following that is, there are two receptionists, and their names are Jay and Molly. So now, can you tell how many people are working in the clinic? If your answer is 14, put a tick on your paper. Moving to the second question, let's analyze the question. It says, on Monday, 23 patients made appointments with each doctor. However, 6 of the patients did not show up. How many patients visited the clinic on Monday? So after reading, start answering by finding first what is being asked. And the main question here is, how many patients visited the clinic on Monday? So let's try to break it down. It says, on Monday, 23 patients made appointments with each doctor. By the way, how many doctors do we have again? Do you remember? 
So we have four doctors, right? And it was clearly mentioned that 23 patients made appointment with each doctor, which means 23 plus 23 plus 23 plus 23 is equals to 92 patients or to make it simple 23 times 4 is equals to 92 92 are the total number of patients that book their appointment for Monday and that they are expecting 92 patients to come for Monday Are you getting it so far? Good However, 6 of the patients did not show up so the term did not show up is our keyword which means to take away from the total number of the expected patients for the day, wherein our total expected patients is, what is it? Yes, we're expecting 92 patients to come today. That means 92 take away 6 is 86. So going back to the question, how many patients visited the clinic on Monday? The answer is 86. Put a tick on your paper if you got this one correct. Now let us move on to question number 3. It says, on Tuesday, Jay answered 45 phone calls and Molly answered 12 more calls than Jay did. How many calls were answered in total? So again, after reading the whole statement, first we have to find what is being asked. And in this statement, it is asking how many calls were answered in total. So let us try to analyze the scenario part by part. So the first given number is the 45 phone calls made by Jay. Do you have to do anything about it? 5 seconds thinking. What do you think? Yes or no? Absolutely no. Nothing yet because it was just stating the number of calls J answered, right? Good. So let's move to the next part. So the statement says, Molly answered 12 more calls than J did, which means what? Tell me, what does that mean? Nice try. It means that if J had 45 phone calls, we will be adding 12 more calls because Molly answered 12 more calls than Jay did. And that will be 45 plus 12 phone calls. Are you getting it so far? So how many is the total calls for Molly then? If your answer is 57, then you got it right. However, the question is, is that it? Will that be our final answer? If you said no, you are right. That is not yet the main question that we need to answer. So the main question is, how many calls were answered in total? What do we need to do? 5 seconds thinking time. If you guess that we have to add the number of calls for both of them, which is 45 plus 57, if you guess that we have to add the number of calls for both of them, which is 45 plus 57, you got it right again. And our answer will be... Yes, it's 102 phone calls. Great! If you got that right, put a thing on your paper. Now let's work on your fourth question. It says, on Wednesday, a doctor called in sick. The two nurses and Jay called 36 patients to reschedule their appointments. How many calls did they each make? So again, before we start, find the main question first and underline it. And in the statement, the main question is, how many calls did they each make? And now let us proceed breaking down the statement. It was stated that a doctor called in sick, which means only one doctor called in sick because they said A, right? So do we have to do something about it? No, we don't. Why? 
nice trying it's because it's just a statement saying that the doctor made a call are you getting it good now let us proceed to the next statement now it says the two nurses and Jay called 36 patients to reschedule their appointments so what idea do you have after reading this statement what do you think do we have to do go and tell me nice idea so the three of them made a call and in total they called 36 patients right and the question says how many did they each make that is the clue that we need to what what do we have to do we need to divide the number of calls to the three of them because it says each right So 36 divided by 3 is 12. So if your answer is 12, you got that one correct. Put a tick on your paper if you got it. Now let us move to question 5. It says, among the calls they made, 13 of the patients decided to cancel their appointments, and the rest decided to postpone their appointments. How many appointments were postponed? So what do you think we need to do first, like how we did in the previous questions? We have to what? Yes, we have to underline and understand what is being asked first. So the question is, how many appointments were postponed? Now let's try to break down the statement. In the beginning of the statement, it says, among the calls they made, 13 of the patients decided to cancel their appointments. Among the calls they made. It's not written there. Yeah? But do you remember how many calls they made? Go ahead and tell me. How many calls did they made in total? Remember when I told you that all the questions are interrelated? Let's go back to the previous line, okay? So how many calls were made? Did you guess 36? If you did, you are right. They made 36 calls in total. Now it says 13 of the patients decided to cancel their appointments. And the rest decided to postpone their appointments. It just says the rest. So the question is, how many were postponed? Which means we are looking for the rest. So how do you think we will find the answer? How did you do it? If you subtract 13 from 36, you are right because the way that the phrase the rest was used in the statement is already a cue for taking away. So 36 take away 13 is 23. There are 23 patients who decided to postpone their appointments. Got it? Put a tick on your paper if you did. So for the final question, we will find x in solving the equation. So the statement says, for each patient they see, each doctor can get paid 80 germs. If there are x patients on that day, the doctor will be paid 1,760 germs. So how do you understand this statement? 5 seconds thinking time. So in this statement, the problem is not in a form of question, it is an algebraic expression wherein we need to find x and at this point, x represents the number of patients and right now, it is unknown. Do you agree with me? Okay, so let's continue and analyze each part of the statement. The statement says, for each patient they see, each doctor can get paid 80 dirhams. So if X is the number of patients, that means for each patient, that will be 1X because each means 1. So 1X is equal to 80 dirhams. Are you following? Good. So now the next part of the statement says, if there are X number of patients on that day, the doctor will be paid 1,760 dirhams. So how do you think are we going to solve this problem? 
if you try to divide 1760 by 80, you are right. Why? It is because one patient is equals to 80, right? So if the doctor got a total amount of 1760 dirhams divided by 80, which is per patient, the answer will be 22. Do you understand that? Put a tick first if you got 22. And before we finish, let's try to check if our answer is right. So how are we going to do that? We will do the inverse operation. How was that? So the rule is, if we add to check your answer, you have to subtract. If you subtract to check your answer, you have to add. When we multiply, the inverse solution to check is to divide. That means, if in this situation we divided, in order to check our answer, we need to multiply. So now, we need to multiply the number of x or the number of patients by the amount each patient paid. And that will be 22 times 80 is equals to 1760. Got it? Brilliant! So did you got all of the questions correct? Great! So this is where our lesson ends for today. I hope you learned something. See you on our next lesson. Goodbye!